Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening, Nosweta, Nosweta, Kroizo, welcome to the channel. Here we are, um, I am Ben, Benny uh, Powell Acrylics, this is my sort of first video on doing a tr uh, portrait uh, of a train. Um, early days yet, as you can see here, it's not going to be a terribly long video, I'm, I'm, I suspect most of my videos, the aim will be just keep them less than 10 minutes. And, and do sort of short bursts of, of progress. Um, if you do find the videos interesting and informative, obviously please do remember to like, share and comment, and subscribe and all those kind of things that YouTubers do love to tell people. Uh, but don't smash the like button, you can just press it because honestly you don't want to break your phone, that, that's not gonna help anyone. Uh, now, I do apologize, it's, it's, it's sort of, I, I, this is actually my second attempt at this video, so I'm gonna hope it comes out better than the first one. The first one sort of started okay, but the sound quality was just uh, appalling. Um, so I'm hoping it'll be a bit, bit, bit better this time. I'm having to sort of try and keep my head up. So I'm talking into my phone, but also painting and drawing. It, it, it's quite an unnatural angle, let's put it that way. I've, ma I've managed to borrow a tripod to get the uh, just get the angle sort of set it out. And obviously here you can see you've got my um, the train I'm started working on. This train is uh, going to be Festinog Railways number four, Palmerston. And I'm going to be sort of working my way down here. Now you can sort of see that I'm setting it out um, now. I'm, I am copying it from another uh, from a photograph. Um, it does. I'm not going to to lie and say that I I paint them in the flesh. Uh, it is sort of working. It, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of detail to go through and to actually sort of sit and paint one for uh, a, a significant amount of time is is going to be quite uh, would. Yeah, well, basically it would be very, very hard to uh, to take the, the amount of time necessary to sit out in and stare at a steam engine, especially as the weather in North Wales particularly varied, as I found out today. Um, so this is what this is the top of the sandbox for the locomotive. So just sort of trying to get that, that shape coming in through here. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's sort of slightly off. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because it will be sort of corrected over and over and over again when it comes to doing the actual um the rest of it the actual painting because this is the thing the drawing the beauty of acrylic painting is it's very easy to paint over what you made a sort of start of now where i'm painting from a photograph i will sort of occasionally measure it and just make sure that the, the dimensions are about right uh, and just begin to get the shape here this is the sandbox coming down uh, very very similar in color in the photo i'm looking at to the the, the this saddle tank area here which is behind it um also you've got the rivets and what have you going along here now these i'm sort of fairly arbitrarily dotting in it doesn't matter to me at the moment that they're, they're in completely the wrong places it's just to remind me that i need to consider them when i'm actually painting it because if i don't then they will disappear now there is a pipe by here uh coming round sort of doubles back in on itself i'm not Again, I'm not going to lie. I'm not an engineer, um, although I love. I do obviously like, like trains and whatever. I I couldn't exactly tell you what that pipe is for. Um, obviously, if you, if you do know, feel free to let me know. Uh, sort of finding things out as I go along. Going down the sandbox again now here, looking to sort of create uh, the bottom end of that. Now, uh, normally I'd carry on and work down that way, but I can sort of see that that's going to be taking me off the uh, the uh, the video screen. And I don't want to be uh, to be coming off the video screen because it's not going to make for a very exciting video if you're, you're watching me draw something you can't actually see, um, which would basically just be me talking aimlessly to myself. Now I can see here that I'm. This is a bit I'm going to measure. So that must be about a centimeter long from sort of the end of the chimney to to the edge of that bit. So that's where that's that's coming together there, and then that this here. This is the sort of the uh, the base of the funnel. Um, the the I, don't, I don't know if it's got a technical name. It may well do, but the sort of the bottom end of the funnel coming up here and then sort of up up the chimney is going to take it off again. And I can also see, looking at it, there is a couple of bolts sort of holding on to the funnel in this area here. So just this bit mainly shadow. There's two bolts here again it doesn't matter that i'm just sort of circling them in they're not that obviously isn't it's not going to be the end result and actually i think looking at it that may well be the base of the um the little bracket that will hold 
the engine's lamp, uh, which is sort of set just about sort of the base of the lamp is sort of setting up here, something like, something like this area. So there we are. So you can sort of see that it's a fairly methodical process. Um, I'm slightly skewiff on my YouTube video. I can see actually that it's probably slightly more upright like that. I know that doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, it certainly doesn't make a huge amount of difference to me drawing it because one of the things I do uh, quite often, I was saying to today to uh, somebody who's watching me work, is I will turn the paper around quite a lot. Um, I very rarely, um, I find it much easier to draw a sort of straight line or well most lines it, it can depend on the angle you're trying to draw them at so drawing them can make quite a difference uh, and quite often it will be you know i'll turn it around through 90 i'll turn the paper through 90 degrees or whatever uh, i pretty much always work horizontally i don't so i'm working on a, obviously a horizontal table uh so a flat surface rather than an easel i've never really sort of got on all that well with easels just the way i've learned essentially um nothing Inherently wrong with these, just easel, just you know, not what I'm used to. But you can see from that, you, you've got the beginning of the engine sort of coming together here. Um, this I think is going to want to be bigger, and sometimes this is the thing is you'll look at it and you'll think, oh yeah, that's that's a good start, but actually that wants to be a little bit larger. And the beauty, obviously, doing it in pencil it, is it's very easy to rub out and expand. And it doesn't really matter that it's sort of quite a thick line by there because it's all going to be painted over anyway. And acrylic is really good for uh, covering up any mis well mistakes, smudges, smears, whatever else you may have made. Not necessarily. It's, it's wrong, really, to call them a mistake. Um, it doesn't always follow that it is a mistake. It can be just that you've drawn it slightly differently, and then when you look at it closer, you realise that well, actually, it wants to be a little bit different. And even sometimes it can look, it can be accurate or accurate in terms of measurements and and then it will just look slightly wrong it's it's quite hard to put a finger on exactly why uh why that happens but there you go uh sometimes it just the perspective does just just change that tiny bit so there we are so i've got this sort of top front corner of the engine um as i say because i'm i'm drawing it like uh, like this as i'm talking to you it's uh, it it's quite awkward uh, as a drawing technique i think uh I'm, i may eventually have to sort of work out if, if i carry on doing youtube videos i'll have to think about equipment and things like that but uh, for now uh yeah for now this is working hopefully quite nicely and there we are we've just got the sort of you've got the top of the engine saddle tank which is coming through here top of the sandbox which is this area here and the smoke box and smoke box door here vacuum brake pipe here and a handle here with the base of the funnel uh here with the sort of funnel extending up there so yeah, you, you you can sort of see the the, uh, the initial shape of the locomotive uh, taking form. Um, yeah, so there we are. So fingers crossed it'll carry on quite nicely. Anyway, I hope there was something uh, interesting for you in that video. Uh, please do remember like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, it just remains for me to say goodbye. Au revoir. Uh, Dear revoir for watching. Thank you.